everyone. Welcome to Circle Time. Glad you could join us today. Check into your body. Do you have your flat feet, your flat bottom, your calm, safe body, your quiet mouth with your eyes on the action? Great work. Look at the schedule real quick. We have our greeting, our calendar, our weather, our math, and then our story. Let's get started with that hello song. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We're glad you came today. Hi, everyone. Look at the mood meter. Where are you on that today? Are you in the low energy or high energy? Are you in the comfortable or uncomfortable space? That high energy, comfortable yellow zone where you're feeling happy, surprised, or maybe just a little silly. Are you in the low energy but comfortable green zone where you're calm and relaxed? Or are you in that low energy and uncomfortable blue zone where you're feeling sick, tired, or just plain sad? Are you up here in that high energy and uncomfortable red zone where you're feeling nervous or frustrated or mad about something? Check in. Tell someone around you. We'll wait. today and pretty calm. So our greeting is all done. We're going to move on to our calendar. We know that we're in the month of July. We also know yesterday was a Thursday, so today is a Friday. And we also know, we know a lot of things about our calendar. That it is the third full week, which makes it the 24th. Let's put that up there. And we'll write it in our notes real quick. Friday. F-R-I-D-A-Y. July. J-U-L-Y. 24th. Is 2020. Great work, everyone. So our calendar is all done. We're going to move on to our weather. So look, look, look out your window to see what you can see. Here in North Bend, Washington, it is cloudy again. Let's see what it says. It's only going to be 67 degrees. So I think that feels pretty cool. So let's write that up here. Cloudy, C-L-O-U-D-Y, 67 degrees and cool, C-O-O-L. Great work, everyone. So our weather is all done. We're going to move on to our math. We'll put our schedule over here so we can get to the board. Rolling the dice. One, two. Let's write that on the board. Hi, Kona. Are you going to try to help? Let's 
Let's write that line and then we'll say that together. Five plus four equals nine. Great work, everyone. Let's roll again. One. Writing that up there. together. One, two, three, four, five. Line belly hat. Let's say that together. One plus four equals five. I wonder what Kona's looking for in there. One, two, three. Oh, in the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's add those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say that math problem together. Three plus six equals nine. Great work, everyone. Putting the cap on. Excuse me, Kona. Let's come out of the treasure box. Putting the dice away and the pin away. And we will check our schedule. So our math is all done. We're going to move on to our story. We have another silly story today. This one may sound familiar. It's another great sequencing story. There was an old lady who swallowed a trout. My goodness, lots of swallowing of things. There was an old lady who swallowed a trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a salmon that sl slippity, flippity, floppity as it swam in. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed an otter with a mug of clear water. She swallowed the otter, she swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a seal. She let out a squeal when she swallowed that seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a porpoise. She did it on purpose. She swallowed the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout. That splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a walrus with a great deal of fuss. She swallowed that walrus. She swallowed the walrus to catch the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It 
want it out. There was an old lady who swallowed a whale. From its tip to its tail, she swallowed the whale. She swallowed the whale to catch the walrus. She swallowed the walrus to catch the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed the ocean. What a commotion. She swallowed the ocean. She swallowed the ocean to hold the whale that now had plenty of room for its tail. She swallowed the whale to catch the walrus. She swallowed the walrus to catch the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. The old lady started to wriggle and jiggle. Swirling inside made her hiccup and giggle. It made her laugh. It made her shout. And when the old lady opened her mouth, she let out the ocean, the whales, and the walrus. She let out the porpoise she'd swallowed on purpose. The seal, the otter, the salmon, and trout splished and splashed and thrashed about. And they all swam out. So that's our story about the little old woman who swallowed a trout. It's a little different than the other one. Now let's work on our rainbow sentence. I've decided to use a different character in our book. I decided to use the trout. And it was a small trout because that was the first thing she swallowed. Because the thing she swallowed got bigger and bigger. So, going with our small trout as our noun and our adjective, I will start our rainbow sentence. So right here in our yellow space, I will write the word trout. T-R-O-U-T, -T. and the word small, S-M-A-L-L, -L, and our adjective, our orange space, and then I'll write the word A. A small trout, and it did lots of things, but one of the words it used was thrashed. So I will use the word thrashed, which means it moved. It's a way that it moved around in there. Thrashed. Nervously. I think it was nervous because it wanted out. So I'm going to use nervously. And where was he? He was in her stomach. So I'm going to write in her stomach. Period. So that is a rainbow sentence for this book. There was an old lady who swallowed a trout. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye.